Just two days ago, the Washington Post established, or published rather, yet another attack on my character and reputation in a desperate attempt to stop my political campaign for the United States Senate. These attacks involve a minor, and they are completely false and untrue about something that happened nearly 40 years ago. I've been married to my wife, Kayla, for nearly 33 years. We have four children. I have one daughter, and I have five granddaughters. I have the highest regard for the protection of young children. When I returned to Gadsden 40 years ago, after military service, I went to work in the office of the district attorney. As a student of the law, I have served in public office on and off for the last 40 years. To be attacked for allegations of sexual misconduct contradicts my entire career in law. I want to make it clear to the media present and to the people present. I have not provided alcohol beverages, alcoholic beverages, beer, or anything else to a minor. I have not been guilty of sexual misconduct with anyone. These allegations came only four and a half weeks before the general election on December 12th. Why now? This article is a prime example of fake news, an attempt to divert attention from the true issues which affect our country. In the next few days, there will be revelations about the motivations and the content of this article. Everybody in this room, every person watching on these cameras should ask themselves, isn't it strange that after 40 years of constant investigation, people have waited to four weeks prior to the general election to bring their complaints. That's not a coincidence. It's an intentional act to stop campaign.